So after picking a pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper went on to make some bad investments in the stock market, went bankrupt, and took up bird watching after his wife left him. The end. I didn't like that story very much. Hmm. Tell your father when you visit him. Uh, could we leave my nightlight on? Hmm. Mommy didn't raise no bitch. Good night. Well, could you at least check for monsters in my closet? Of course, sweetie. Excuse me, any monsters in here? Oh, God. The only thing scary about this is her fashion choice. What? Wait, wait a second. I see you in there. Uh, no one is home. <sighs> Mr. Beezlebob, I know that's you. Hey, you can't give out a client's name like that. True, but if I remember correctly, I argued you down from complete expulsion from the corporal plane to under the bed confinement. Yes, I know that. But you have to understand. Disregarding under the bed confinement is a felony level grievance, Mr. Beezlebub. Please, this is all just a misunderstanding. Look, if you filled out the proper paperwork, I'd have no issue with you terrorizing my child from the closet. What? Not now, honey. The adults are speaking. I'm 17, actually. Well, congratulations. Thanks to Montgomery's newest bill, Bump in the Night, you are eligible to be tried as an adult if home invasion charges are pressed. I filled out the M2s. Well, great. May I see them? I, uh, don't have them at the moment. I feel like there's something you're not telling me, Mr. Beezlebub. Who are you? That's classified. Hi. I'm Victor McLean from Hamlin McLean Practitioners. I can't hear you. I will literally arrest you for obstruction of justice. I received word that you've been harassing one of my current clients. Your client? As of September 20th, Mr. Beazle Boob has been under my jurisdiction regarding his workplace transfer. Well, your client is obstructing his court-ruled under-the-bed confinement. We've been working with Judge Morrison in recent months, and we've reached a compromise. And what is that exactly? Mr. Beazle Boob will be granted sanctuary in the closet, as long as he agrees to mentor an at-risk youth in the ways of scaring. Where is this at-risk youth? There's another one of those freaks! Right here, fool. The proper term is shadow dwellers. Don't be disrespectful, you little shit. Well, everything looks good. Paperwork checks out. Sorry for the disturbance. These things happen. No worries. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Mom? <laughs> Excuse me, any monsters in here? Oh god, the only thing scary about this is your fashion choice. Wait, wait a second. I see you in there. No, wait, you're in the shot. What? <laughs>